Today we're going to do an installation on a Stillo lens. So basically in this kit, <clears throat> you will have an instruction card with uh, detailed instructions. But the one thing I want to uh, point out here on your slip solution, you want to mix, uh, it's basically eight or nine drops for a quart bottle. So in this case, we have this 32 ounce quart bottle. We put uh, eight good drops in here. You do not want to over soap anything. Don't go more the merrier. Um, stick with the eight drops and uh, adjust it accordingly. If you've only got a 24 ounce, then obviously uh, factor that in. You don't want to shake the bottle up either. You don't want to shake the thing and get it foamy. Uh, just when you add it, add the drops, switch it around, get it good and mixed up, but you don't want a foam spraying out. Um, you want it to be basically a, a just a, a slick liquid, you know, like if you see here when we spray it out, you're not seeing a lot of soap or bubbles. Um, the other thing you're going to have in this kit is a squeegee and the kit itself. So we're going to go ahead and and uh, put the inside in first. When you unroll the kit, you'll have uh, two pieces, the inner and the outer. There will be a small eye for the inner piece, unless it's an obvious uh, lens where you can only have an inside and outside where it has a, a notch, like on an impact lens. <clears throat> then you'll have an O on your outer piece. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the inner. You just want everything good and wet. You want your hands clean, you want the lens uh, good and wet. You want your area. Um, Kind of moist as well so that you're not attracting any dust. And you pull the uh, piece off, go ahead and wet it as well. Again, everything's good and wet. You're not seeing a lot of foam though. So again, we're not uh, spraying a big foam. You don't want to, again, shake things up too badly. And then you just lay the kit inside the lens there. And just line up the edges. Just again, you want to make sure everything's good and wet. And you can slide it around until you get it, uh, you know, centered and exactly where you want it. At that point, again, make sure the top's wet. <clears throat> then you take the squeegee and lightly, I mean, literally, I'm just like almost using the weight of the squeegee to begin in the center and just start. Uh, pushing out the liquid, just again, you're just letting the squeegee weight kind of get out the majority of the liquid and air bubbles, and this way it's going to lay good and flat. You switch it around, go to the other side, and you want to use overlapping strokes so that you're not trapping, you're not going here and leaving this big bubble right in the middle. So you want to make sure an overlapping strokes. Again, just kind of letting it do the work. I'm not really pressing anything. <clears throat> again, you can spray it, keep it wet. And what will begin to happen, um, it'll start to tack down. But even at this point, just loosely squeegeeing it, I can take, if it's off slightly, I can move it around ever so slightly with my thumb to make sure it's exactly where I want it. And when it's perfect and it's kind of tacked down now, it's not moving much. I mean, you can kind of barely see it, but it's, it's, uh, it's not super slippery. So now I'm gonna add a little more pressure. So now I'm, but I'm not really pushing overly aggressive, but just a little more pressure. Again, it's getting all the liquid and bubbles out. Again, overlapping strokes, make sure the top surface is wet when you do this. And now it's pretty much on there. So now we're just gonna go with the final. We're literally, now I'm, I'm, I'm pushing down pretty aggressively. And again, you want to overlap those strokes. Now, any last bits of uh, moisture are getting pushed out as we cover all the film here. So again, we're gonna come to the other side. If you need to respray it again, that's good because uh, the wetter it is, the easier the squeegee will flow on there. And again, I'm pushing pretty darn hard right now just to get out any last bits. You wanna make sure and get all the edges And that is basically it for the inside. Then again, you just switch it over and we're gonna repeat this process on the outside. So again, make sure it's good and wet. <clears throat> I'm gonna spray the piece off screen here, but spray it on the little, uh, the release paper here. And we're gonna remove it. And once again, spray it good. Spray the front good, 
And the way I've got it set up as I spray this, any dust that's collected on here is flowing down and running off into my, uh, onto the towel there. So that's kind of the idea too. If anything in the air happens to stick to it, it's just kind of all running down and running off. Now I'm gonna put it on here and I wanted to lift the lens up because I don't want this touching the towel and picking up any loose fibers. So again, now we're just gonna kind of line it up and lining it up with uh, all the spots here. And that's looking pretty darn good right there. And if you need to, uh, if you need to lift it and move it a little bit, you can do that. Need a little more moisture under there because it was starting to stick right there. And again, just get it right where you want it. And when it's there, once again, kind of wet the top. And again, just using kind of the weight of the squeegee, I'm just pushing out the big areas of air, liquid, you know, big pockets of stuff. And again, we're just running it down. Make sure there's nothing on the edges standing up. Now at this point, we can kind of look at it and go, you know what, we want to move it. And if, I don't know if you can see, so basically there's no air under it, but we can still move this and slide it a little bit and get it exactly where we want it. Side to side, up and down. You want about a, you know, 16th of an inch around all the edges. And that's good right there. So we're going to wet it again. And now I'm going to give it slightly more pressure. Not a lot though, because you don't want to really drive onto it right now and grab it because you'll pull, you'll pull the whole thing side to side, which isn't the end of the world. All you have to do is slide it back to where it was. But uh, to make this as simple as easy, simple and easy for you guys, again, a little more pressure and just overlapping strokes. So at this point, now it's tacked down. It's not going to slide. So we're going to give it the final hit. So now, again, we're going to go pretty darn aggressive. And I am pushing, I'm pushing pretty hard right now. You, you really, I mean, you almost, you can't push too hard. If you, I mean, unless you think you're going to break the, break the lens. You don't want to do that, obviously. You don't want to push that hard, but, uh, And again, if anything is hanging over the edge or you need to adjust it, you just spray it, you know, and lift that little edge and uh, lay it back down. The stuff's really forgiving at this point. After the stuff has dried for a while, overnight, um, that's a different, different story. But right now, again, you just want to make sure every single bit of moisture is out from under there, which I think we're good. This thing is on. Make sure everything around that little nub's good. Make sure all these edges are laid down. And now we're just going to take a towel and dry her off. Give it kind of a final, final inspection. Make sure nothing got under there that we didn't see. Any specks of dust. Uh, dog hair. <laughs> if you've got dogs, whatever. want to make sure this thing is good and clean. Oops, right there. This is starting to lift a little bit because it wasn't tacked all the way down right there. So again, it's not a not an emergency, but there was a little spot there that uh, where it lifted with my towel. So you do want to be careful when you're towel drying it and not do what I just did right there. Um, basically, you want to go the uh, direction you were going with the squeegee. So you don't want to run uh, against the grain, so to speak, and potentially have it lift. Okay. So again, now it's dry. And now what will happen, you'll have a little bit of moisture underneath, um, which can cause just a little bit of fogginess. And that's going to dissipate. If, if you want it to go away quickly, just take it outside, set it in the sun for about 15 minutes, and um, 
the thing will be crystal clear. If it's cold weather, just leave it in your trailer or your house or uh, wherever overnight and it'll, it'll uh, the stuff will dissipate out. But I don't know if you can kind of see, but there's just a slight little haze underneath the film. And that's just the remainder of any moisture that's in there. And uh, other than that, thing is good to go and it is protected.